Our motoring tip of the week concerns checking many of the underhood fluid levels of your vehicle. Now engine oil and transmission are typically checked with a dipstick and it's pretty straightforward. However, brake fluid, rad coolant, and in many cases power steering fluid levels are often checked with the semi-transparent containers that you actually add the fluid to. So basically you're just looking for the full line on those containers. Now it really helps to take a good flashlight and backlight those containers give the vehicle a shake and now with the light in behind the container you can see the fluid sloshing in that container really well. It also helps to take a, a damp rag and clean those containers so that the light can pass through easily and you can see that full level and all the low and full marks on those containers. Now if brake fluid for example the level in the in the brake master cylinder will decline as your brakes wear. Now you, you haven't lost any fluid, but that's how the brakes self-adjust. They take more fluid into the system, down into the brake calipers as the brake pads wear. And eventually when you do a brake job, you bleed the fluid, replace the fluid, and readjust the fluid level after you've done your brake job. But it's normal for that fluid level to decline over the life of the brake pads. It may need topping up because just about every vehicle has a low level indicator that'll bring a light on in the dash if the brake fluid is low. And many national chains won't even touch the brake fluid because their personnel aren't licensed mechanics and legally they're not supposed to touch that. So it's actually something you may have to self-service. So with the brake fluid, you want to make sure that you clean the area of the lid so you don't disturb any grit that's going to fall in the master cylinder. And only remove the lid when you're going to top the fluid up. So backlight the master cylinder, shake the vehicle. If the level's sufficient, don't take the lid off, just appear in there. Every time you take the lid off, you expose the fluid to, uh, to the air, lowers the boiling point of the brake fluid, and you have the possibility of contamination. So only take the lid off when you're actually going to top it up. And by backlighting the cylinder, it's easy to see that level as soon as you shake the vehicle. Same thing for the rad coolant, and in many cases, power steering fluid as well. Backlight the container, give it a shake, you're going to see the fluid level. Top it up with the approved correct fluid. Be very careful that you don't cross contaminate or mix fluids because you can really do some damage. A lot of people mistakenly put power steering fluid in with the brake fluid and do huge damage to their brake system. That's your motoring tip of the week.